My name's Sorgal. It's right here. Um, it's backwards in the mirror, but th that's what I'm, I'm going to be teaching you how to vertical. If you don't know, it's basically using one arm and spinning it on the wall. Usually it's spinning it. You can do it like this as well, but I prefer spinning my hand on the wall. I just do circles like this on the wall and you go up it very fast. It's a very good technique for escaping lava monkeys. Um, that's pretty much it. I'll be showing you. Just give me a second. All right, so this wall over here, this is the wall that you usually want to start practicing on because it's the one with the most slant. And when the wall slants, it's easier to go up on when you're hitting on it. So if I go to a wall like this where it kind of doesn't slant as much as that one that way, it's going to be harder to go up it. One of the things that you want to start on is a slanted wall. So a wall like this or a wall like this right here. And uh, don't start off right here because this isn't slanted like this is right here. It's slanted all the way from here, pretty much all the way going up. I do recommend this wall because it is a lot easier and it doesn't, it's not as weird as this wall with its slants. Here is where you might have problems, but by then you'll be able to vertical enough and practice the vertical enough to where you could just like go straight past it. Sometimes I look directly at the wall. I usually look up because think about when you're like walking, right? If you're walking somewhere and you look somewhere, you'll naturally like try to go in the direction you're looking. I usually just look up if I'm like looking to the side, I just look up. I'll either look at the wall or I'll look this way if I'm trying to go somewhere. So like this branch over here is a pretty good um, way to test your verticaling skill to see if you can get all the way up there it's like that. So you could like start here or here. You could go directly up from here. You literally just go directly up from here and then keep going directly up and then make your way to that branch. But um, if you want to, to get yourself up there, start off right here. And then you go like that and you can focus on the branch. But what you want to do is you want to start by taking your hand. Anyway, uh, some, you can literally even have your hand just like a stub like this and vertical still don't recommend it, obviously. If you're somewhat verticaling like this and go on the side, that's called wall scaling. But you want to vertical, you want to go just straight up. So take your arm, just you can have it like like this, like this, like this. I usually have my arm just like, um, or not my arm, my hand. I usually have my hand around like here and I'll spin it like like this. I'm creating an oval, but it's a vertical oval. Like it's more vertically upward. And that's because if I do an oval like this, what's gonna happen is I'm just gonna hit myself off the wall. So if I do this, I'm literally just gonna hit myself off the wall. But if I do this, I'm gonna go up the wall, right? Also, if you just do this and flick your hand down in vertical, you'll go up, right? But I don't really recommend that unless you're on like 72 hertz. Another uh, very big important part about walls is what refresh rate you're on. Uh, a lot of people know it as hertz. Usually for walls players, they have it at 60 because it's more sticky on the walls. I'm on 60, so I stick to the walls a lot more. <clears throat> if you're like a brancher, I would recommend 72 or 90. You can go on side quest if you're on Oculus like I am. You can go on side quest and just put that on your headset. I'll probably link a video. So you want to take your hand and you want circles like this. You want very consistent circles because if you start getting bigger and bigger, say you start off small and you start getting bigger, you're going to start going away from the wall, which is not what you want at all because you want it to be consistent and you want to stay on the wall. You also don't want to look directly parallel with the wall because it's going to be really hard to hit it right so you're going to like go like this and it's going to be pretty hard to hit it you do want to kind of look into the wall a little bit like this all right you want to look into the wall a little bit if this helps you if your tracking doesn't go to absolute shit when you look up and you move your hand focus on looking up just try that it might help because for me I would focus on my hand and I would notice that I'm just going to the side, right? But if I focused on a goal, like just looking straight up and going straight up, straight upwards like that, like I would usually just go straight upwards. And sometimes I even look at the wall and just do this, but I would keep it near where my stomach is and I'd go like this and I go, 
right? Obviously, I can vertical a little bit better than that, but I'm just like giving examples. The stuff that you need to do is you need to do consistent circles like this. Be looking at the wall like this. Have it around your hip or chest. I recommend usually just like in the middle of my um in the middle of my hip or chest. So I would have it around like here, so it can track. So if it's not all the way down by my hip and I'm looking up, it it, it like won't track really, and that's why sometimes I have it up here. Right, but it just varies based on how you're gonna do your vertical. Looking at the wall just a little bit, looking into it a little bit. Consistent circles. You can boost yourself up as well. You'll see a lot of people do this before they vertical. That's because it speeds your momentum up so you don't have to start off slow. Say if someone was coming at you and they're trying to like get you and they start off with a vertical that's like slow to fast and you instantly start off with one that's going all the way up the wall. You're gonna obviously beat them in a vertical race. Just picking up your speed, whatever, as fast as possible to go up the wall as fast as possible. And you wanna hit like this, but you wanna do it just a little bit faster so you keep that speed, so you go like, all right. And I don't even, I don't even spin my hand that fast. It just looks like I do sometimes. Bye, hope it helped. If it didn't, that's okay, that's whatever. Just watch more videos. 60 hertz, very good. Would recommend for walls. But if you're not, you know, a walls player, if you're like a hybrid, 72, 90, you're not gonna be able to uh, vertical as good or do walls as good. Just let me know if you want any more tutorials and I'll put them out there.